Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Liv. Please don't forget to subscribe. Press subscribe right now before we get into the video. I wanted to create like a Valentine's Day look, but I wanted to be like more creative, not just saying a basic look. So we're gonna go a little bit extra. And if you wanna see how I create this look, then please keep watching. Jumping into it, I'm just going to start with my brows because they are so bushy at the moment. They need to be waxed. I'm taking this P. Louise Brow Pencil. I believe this shade's like mochaccino. I'm just like experimenting with my brows lately. You know when you just don't know how you actually want them to look? I really like the feathered brows. I wouldn't mind going to get brow lamination done. I'm taking this P. Louise brow gel. <laughs> oh my God, can I see? It's called Oh So Be Browtiful. Uh, the eyebrow gel in Mochaccino as well. To be honest, this whole video is probably just gonna be me being like, yeah, so I'm just taking my P. Louise. Oh yeah, so I'm just taking my Be Perfect because they are like my go-tos at the moment. I literally, I'm obsessed with P. Louise and be perfect their products are just really good they're like really like pigmented <laughs> literally look ridiculous with my brows like this but it's fine we're just gonna keep going because trust me it all comes together at the end so i'm gonna start with a uh, eyeshadow base i'm taking the p louise in the shade rumor 2 oh my goodness like my makeup brushes <laughs> i'm embarrassed i can't believe i just showed that i'm just taking this morphe m166 like flat headed brush going to start underneath the brow and like sh carve them out like shape them first and then just go down from there I'm gonna go back in we're just gonna start doing the rest of the lid then you see what I mean like you just you carve it and then you're fine and then with the rest you just pack her on okay we've extended her really far out I'm gonna be taking be Perfect Carnival Extra Large Palette by Stacey Marie. I literally own all three of her palettes and they are like my favorite things in this whole wide world. This is what it looks like. Like, I'm sorry, but that just makes me so excited. I'm gonna start in my crease with this color. It's called In Lust. I'm just taking this Morphe M431. I'm just gonna be popping that all in my crease. And I'm gonna pop it right to the end and then I'm gonna go up on the tape there. Let's just go up. I'll just try something different, something new, something unusual, you know what I mean? I actually wanted to put some white underneath my eye, like my brow. That same palette, this shade right here, it is called Pillow Talk. And I'm literally just lightly just setting underneath my brow. I really wanted to do a pink, like pink, and then I was like, I want to do red, and I just am really torn. So maybe I'm gonna have to do both. I'm just gonna take this, like a fluffy blending brush, take that same in lust shade, tap it out, tap that excess out, see, so get more, tap it out. I'm literally just going over what I've popped in my crease, and I'm blending it out. I need some more shade. I'm just going to be taking this shade, I think it's called, yeah, Infer Inferno. <laughs> and we're just going to be taking that on this little brush, packing that on. Stunning. Tap her out. And I'm just going to be pa packing it on the lower lid on the outer corner. Just packing her in. I always just get heaps of product on my brush and I literally just press it, like dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it in. I am going to slightly bring that into the front part of my crease too. I literally don't even know if I was looking at the camera just then, sorry. Like ever so lightly, I'm just kind of blending that in already with this same brush. So it blends in a bit more. And then using the same brush we just used to blend it out, I'm just going to blend, like blend out that original crease colour. I'm just going back in 
I'm blending that red I just added in with that. Put some cotton tips. I'm going to take one. And I'm also going to... I don't know if anyone's heard of the Vaseline trick for their eyeshadow. Just taking some on a cotton tip. Q-tip, whatever you call it. And I'm just... I like get a bit, but I just dispense some on my hands so I can keep going back for some more. What you're going to do is you're literally just going to... It just brings off the eyeshadow so easily. I'm just going to clear where I want to be cutting. I'm getting a pink shade now by P. Louise. It's called Extra Spicy. It is one of their crisp finish paints. Um, this is what she looks like. From where we just Vaselined it. So yeah, I'm gonna outline it. This is the Stacey Marie Carnival Free Ta Love Tahiti or whatever it is from Tahiti. We're gonna be taking this shade. It's called Pearl. And we're going to be packing that just all over my lid where we just put the crisp finish paint thing. With that brush, we packed the red colour on before. And we're going to be like popping it all in where we've just done that. Cut crease. We're going to be popping it on the edge so we can blend it out. Blendy, fluffy brush and we're going to be blending it out a bit more. This is what it's currently looking like. I'm going to take the tape off and see what she looks like. Oh, look at that. Is that not really satisfying? It's one of my like, favorite biggest pairs of lashes. The are, the, the are, the are. They are the Tati Lashes TL Mitchell 2 Faux Me. I'm just going to be coating up those lashes. So grab your tweezers, grab your lash, and we're just going to be popping her onto those lashes. Now that the lash is on and this eye is done, I'm going to go do the other side, but obviously I'm going to do it off camera because you've just seen the whole process. And I'll come back to you guys once I've got both my eyes done. I keep getting mad, Jojo, see well vibes with my hair pulling on the side, side, side. But I gotta wear it on the side, 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 because my hair's on. Woohoo! So now we've got to beat the face. We've got to add some foundation. I'm gonna like just show you guys all quickly the products I'm using, and then I'm just gonna put it on. I'm taking my Huda Beauty Fair filter because this is my favorite foundation in this whole wide world, Jade Cheesecake. And I'm going in with my, of course, favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape. Apparently, some people don't like this, but. Makeup is different on everyone, and also everyone likes things different. So, I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna go set my face with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder, and I will come back to you guys once I've got my base done. I'm to finish the rest of the eye look. Yeah, 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 I'm so excited. I'm gonna be taking that original crease color called In Last, and I'm grabbing that same little brush I used to apply it in the crease, and I'm gonna be going underneath the eye with that. On I'm taking this red in my inner corner. Okay, so lucky last is my lips. I'm gonna go with a red. I'm taking this Sephora lip liner in Deep Ruby. So that is what I'm taking. I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm just gonna take my Sephora 
um, lipstick in this shade 96, it's just this liquid red. Wow, this has made me look very pale. So this is the completed look. What do you guys think? If you liked this and want to see more makeup videos, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And, 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 don't forget to subscribe. Also, my socials are going to be linked down below. So, go follow my TikTok, go follow my Insta if you're not already. And, yeah, I will see you guys all next time.